Hey guys, welcome back to All Around LEGO, and today we will be doing a partial review of LEGO set 7877. Let's get into it. I am doing a partial review for the set as for the fact that I don't have the minifigures or the other part of the build. As for I don't have the R2-D2, both of the security cards, the Anakin Skywalker, the Naboo Pilot, and the Droidica. So this will be just be a review of the tr transport and the actual Naboo Starfighter. Let's get into it. To start this review off, we'll go over some particulars. This set was released in August of 2011 and retired in December 2012. The set has 3,818 pieces and retailed at the time for $50. As for the troop transport, you have three main segments that are all attached with this old looking connector. The back turret has two flick fire missiles. It's supposed to have four, but there were only two in the that I could get. And it's pretty standard with some blue. Then over here you got the ladder so the troops can actually get onto the Naboo Starfighter, which I find pretty cool. And then in the front you have your little moving place and it had a couple extra wrenches and other materials. For the ladder, if we pull over the actual Starfighter, a major part of it that I do like is, although it might not be linked up exact, exactly, I do like how the ladder actually does come pretty close, if not perfectly, up to the actual cockpit for the Naboo Starfighter. For the Naboo Starfighter, it comes on this little simple stand that can be rotated and that it hooks up on these two smaller pieces where it does connect up to flick fire missiles that do in fact actually work. It can be spun around like this. If we come up here you have some sticker decal on the main body with the wings go on to these the actual engines. I feel like it was actually pretty well designed considering it's 2011 and they had limited resources available at the time for LEGO. I do feel like this set is a bit sticker heavy, although it, it can add character to an old set. If you open up the cockpit here, it has more stickers on it. You have the old style like command post, which I find, I mean command piece, which I find pretty cool. Over here you got some more stickers. One of them's coming off, but oh well. And then under here, you have a bit of Technic stuff where you, R2-D2 would be and at the bottom. If you can tell, you have this little thing that would be able to hit him up and eject him. And then in the back, you got the final part of it. I do like how you have your playability functions with the flick fire missiles on the bottom. But then you also have your display ability with the stand and I do feel like this set at least the starfighter portion of it would, is actually a solid display piece which I might use for my Lego room. Thanks for watching and I'll have a speed build of another set coming out soon and I'll see you next time in all around Lego.